Hey, okay, welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. Before I was Mr. Excel, I had a day job where I was responsible for doing sales forecasting. It was horrible. Every month we had this big sales and operations planning meeting where we would try and figure out the product forecast for the next 6 to 12 months for 20 or 25 product lines. I must have been having a flashback to that when I wrote this chapter in the book. Take a look at this sales graph here. Uh, this, you know, this is horrible spiky demand that you might expect and it would be really tough to try and figure out the forecast for this. One of the things we learned though is sometimes it would be better to take a three month moving average. We figured maybe the demand was really quarterly but it just came in unevenly throughout the quarter. And so to create a moving average we want to use the average formula equal average of the last three months. So obviously to create this formula you have to start in the third month of your data. And you'll notice that when you enter this formula Excel puts a little green triangle there and the error box and it says hey this formula omits adjacent cells and Excel will try and warn you about this and you just have to um, pretty much ignore it and say you know hey I'm smarter than you are. There's a temptation here to say ignore this error but as we copy the formula down Excel is going to warn us about all the other cells and I'm not going to go through and say ignore this error 20 times so I've learned just to ignore that, that green triangle. Anyway we added the moving average in and you'll see that as this average on the chart shows up it really is kind of a nice smooth trend line up. The spiky demand goes away and so it's sort of easier to forecast the next few months understanding this particular trend line. So I would use that data to create my forecast knowing that in any given month I'm going to be up or down but over the course of two or three months I'll probably be dead on. Hey thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow for another podcast from Mr. Excel.